This year's winner in the action line, access to information and knowledge comes from Bangladesh. Mr. Chowdhury will tell us more about the winning project DAISY. Thanks, Vladimir. It's the uh, accessible reading material for visual and print disabled students. We have about 100,000 uh, visual disabled students and print disabled students in the system in Bangladesh. And this system, which has digitized all our textbooks, about 100 textbooks, into an easily accessible format, which is navigable, just like a regular textbook uh, for visual disabled, uh, visually disabled students. So on the first of every year, the Honorable Prime Minister actually distributes textbooks to millions of uh, children, uh, students across the country. So starting now, this visually, uh, this uh, DAISY formatted uh, uh, reading materials will also be distributed to the visually disabled students, empowering them and giving them equal opportunities in the education uh, and job world. So uh, this is a pretty much a revolution in Bangladesh starting this year. Prime Minister's Office of Bangladesh has been much involved with VISIS process and VISIS prizes. Yes. Already winning awards in 2014-15, a champion in 2016, now coming back as a winner in 2017. Could you please tell us what is behind the success of so, so many awards from the VISIS prizes? WISIS actually creates a lot of excitement in Bangladesh. Uh, starting from the selection process for submitting projects, uh, which uh, starts beginning of the year, to, uh, pretty much towards the end of the year before and the beginning of the year, uh, creates a lot of competition, creates a lot of excitement for finding the best projects for WISIS. Then comes the voting. When the, if we get uh, prioritized, screened into the process, uh, comes the voting. That involves the entire country, S schools, government offices across the board get involved. And then if we win, last year we did not win, last year we actually had uh, four champion uh, awards, but this year we had three champion and one, one winner. Uh, it creates a huge enthusiasm at that point. Uh, so it creates uh, conviction that we need to do better next year, but also it creates, the recognition creates uh, new opportunities for new innovators within the country. And the Prime Minister's Office, the A2I program, actually works with tons of innovators with our innovation fund, with our empathy training, with our service process simplification, many programs that we have across the country that involves uh, hundreds of innovators across the country. We also feel very much recognized and appreciate all your support in the previous years. We hope to see you again next year. But before that, would you please tell us a bit more how do your, do your projects help advance the sustainable development goals? The winner this year actually have direct impact on goal four, which is education, and goal eight, which is decent jobs. The three uh, champions, one that works on social media to uh, uh, advance uh, strong institutions to address uh, citizens' grievances, that's goal 16, uh, and also creates a lot of innovation through social media in the country, that's goal nine. Uh, other champion category, uh, which is e-filing, uh, creates uh, a government ERP system for about 19,000 offices of the government that also contributes to SDG 16. And the final one, the, the fourth one that we won this year is, uh, is a telediagnostic system developed by a university in the country with uh, financial support from A2I uh, that advances goal three, which is health. Congratulations again. Thank you very much for your time and again hope to see you next year. Thank you Mr. Chaudhuri for the interview. Thanks very much Vladimir.